have a dream that one day. Amid the emergence of the civil rights movement, black people throughout the Jim Crow South were subjected to unfair treatment in public and private owned spaces. Most of us know that black patrons had to enter buses and restaurants through the back. Black students attended segregated, under-resourced schools, and traveling black families and entertainers were denied service at many motels. Through the struggle against segregation, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. became a national and international public figure. King led campaigns that outright challenged the power structure. He taught that it was just to break unjust laws and encourage black people to sacrifice imprisonment as a means to change the legal bind of racial and political repression. King organized targeted, mass direct action protests and economic boycotts to move businesses and government towards meeting the demands of the movement. Soon after gaining wins for integration and voting rights, he became more radical and recognized that economic inequality was also a threat to freedom for black people. For King, it became less important that black folks could sit at integrated restaurant counters if they could not afford anything when they got there. Through his travels to the country's urban centers, he noticed the frequency of unemployment and low wage workers. He found it unacceptable that a country as wealthy and technologically advanced as America could exist with poor people who struggled to secure food, housing, health care, employment, and education for themselves and their families. During this time, MLK challenged the nation's involvement in the Vietnam War. He noted, it is estimated that we spend $322,000 for each enemy we kill, while we spend in the so-called war on poverty in America only about $53 for each person classified as poor. How could America spend so much in the name of freedom in another country when it invested so little for freedom in its own citizens? King also used calls for economic justice as a way to build a broader movement with poor, Native, Latino, and white Americans. Today's young black organizers work to extend the radical legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. BYP 100 acknowledges the contributions of women, queer, transgender, and gender non-conforming members within our movement and organizes for the right of all black people. As young leaders, we are dissatisfied with our social and economic condition. Through direct action and civic engagement, we are committed to our responsibility to create a radical shift in America. This change is essential for the survival of our people. Peace.